You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. I am not for impeachment. I think it's a waste of time. I think it gives Tribulation Trump too much firepower and too much publicity. But if you start a movement, now listen to me, you Japheth people, you Democrat, you listen to me, and you young people, uh, Alexandra uh, Cortez, uh, listen to me, Ilha Omar, y'all listen to me. Rather than y'all starting a movement of impeachment, start a movement to in, unseat him as illegal and to seat Hillary as a legal presidency. Start that movement and he'll have no way to fight you. There'll be nothing he can say. His aides will not be able to come to his and then use the Mueller report. You've read it. Most of y'all know the various parts in there. The 10 obstruction of justice is not important. What is important is the 141 contacts that Trump had with Russia, the campaign had with Russia to get dirt on Hillary. Uh, the contacts going back and forth, establishing a backward channel to Russia, to Moscow, all of that. Why Robert Mueller did not adjudge that as a criminal conspiracy is quite simply because if he had done so, uh, America would throw Trump out of office on there, and he was just too afraid that America did not have the wherewithal to put Trump out of office and remain a nation stable. He, Robert Mueller, feared that if he actually came down Main Street and pointed out the conspiracy and documented that you and I saw go on right before our very eyes. You, we saw it go on. If he did that, Trump would be out of office, but what would happen to America? When you say, well, Pastor, aren't you asking us to do the same thing? No, I'm asking you as a party, as a people, to get out there and start encouraging, get out there and start educating the people that it is not right under any circumstance. Too many people have died on battlefields. Too much blood has been shed in World War I, World War II, the Revolutionary War. Too many people have sacrificed to make America the nation it is for America to accept an illegitimate fraud put on the throne in the Oval Office by Russia. And America needs to be Educated, you got to get out there rather than campaigning for the office, campaign for the truth, campaign to seat Hillary. She won six million votes more than Trump did anyway, and God only knows how many votes she would have won had Russia not meddled into and had in contact with more than 120 million people were realigned by the Russian campaign on Facebook by phony ads and phony demonstrations that were not set up by Black Lives Matter or other Democrat or, if you will, socialist groups, but were set up by trolls that were run by the Russian government. My friends, it's time to start a movement to put Hillary in the seat and to unseat Donald John Trump. That, that's it, my friends. That, that's it. Just those things alone is a conspiracy and a crime demonstrating and that Russia used a systematic and success was systematically and successful in putting Trump and influencing Trump and disparaging Hillary, meaning that Trump gets disqualified. He gets disqualified. Hillary should be our president right now. Hillary should be the president. Hillary, you need to start a movement. Call a conference. Call a conference and start a movement to put Hillary in power. I'm James David Manning. I'll be back with more of this. We are not going to rest until Hillary is seated in the Oval Office. I'm James David Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord's servant.
This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.